The seven star terror raid event for Del Fox has finally been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to go over all the details on what to expect from this raid as well as the best builds to help you prepare for beating this thing solo in your game. So as we know later this week, the seven star terror raid event for Del Fox will be coming to Scarlet and Violet. It'll be the first time we'll have access to this exclusive Pokemon in the games and with it comes a big challenge because the Del Fox, as we know, is going to be a fairy terror type when it arrives in Scarlet and Violet later this week. It's going to be weak to moves like steel type attacks, like poison type attacks, and it will have resists to things like dragon. It's got an immunity to that and it's going to be resistant to dark and fighting type attacks. So just keep those things in mind when you're going into this raid, if you're putting your own builds together. We can take a quick look at all of the details on what to expect from Del Fox. It is, of course, going to be level 100 and it is going to have that fairy terror typing. It's like like other seven star terror raids to have its hidden ability which for Del Fox is the magician ability so for those of you that don't know how magician works if Del Fox hasn't got a held item which it's likely not gonna have and it uses an attack into a Pokemon that has a held item like yourself it will actually activate the ability and that held item will be stolen and then Del Fox will get it this can be pretty problematic when we have such a reliance on held items in these seven star raid events so we're gonna have to look at other methods measures for recovery in particular because a lot of Pokemon rely on things like a shell bell to get that recovery so they've got the longevity to get the attacks off in the battle that they need so your timer isn't affected once you get knocked out without the shell bell that becomes a bit more difficult so we are going to address that with some of the specific builds that we go over in today's video but Del Fox is a pretty speedy Pokemon as well with a base 104 speed stats so it is going to outspeed the majority of things when in the raid if you can get something that's faster than it then that will obviously help it is going to have a hp multiplier of 30 because it is a seven star raid so it's going to be sitting on around 8730 hit points that's what you're going to have to do to remove it from the field and then if we move over to its move options it's got things like overheat heat wave from its base fire typing as well as psychic and psi shock that play off that psychic typing that it has got access to other moves that you're going to look at especially because it is that fairy terror typing it has got access to dazzling gleam so that is going to be boosted with the terror typing there has got access to solar beam as well as well as shadow ball hyper voice stored power and foul play it also gets options like mud slap but i didn't really put it down as necessary in this it does make sense to have mud slap in there potentially as a coverage move for steel types in particular but you do have that fire typing there's a lot better time with over the mud slap now the setup options that Del Fox does have access to it does get sunny day that's going to boost the fire type attacks that it has got access to like your overheat your heat waves your flamethrowers if we see that there and it also means that solar beam can be a one turn move rather than the charge turn without the sun on the field uh, it does get access to charm as well so that's something that it can potentially use it is a fairy type attack as well so it's likely it, it's likely that we do see that on there and that reduces the attack stat on it reduces the attack stat on targets by two stages so if it has got charm i think it changes the dynamic of some of the options that we could bring into this raid potentially and then annihilate i think with that defiant ability feels like a really good option going into this raid king gambit not so much because it's so threatened by those big fire type attacks that are going to be there on the del fox uh, it does get access to nasty plots so it has a way to boost its own special attack and become pretty threatening very quickly as well as calm mind which isn't as quick a setup as is nasty plot but it does boost the special defense as well as the special attack every turn that it uses it then it gets access to psychic terrain that's going to boost its psychic type attacks in particular that psychic and psi shock and this could be tricky on picking pokemon and ev in them for del fox because if we see something like psi shock it's not like psychic that hits on that special defensive side psi shock actually takes its calculation damage from the defensive stat of the pokemon even though it is coming off the special attacking side from del fox if that makes sense so you have to kind of adjust evs if that is there but hopefully it's not and it just has psychic or something like stored power to play off the boosting moves that it's got access to and then the final move that we have listed here that i could potentially see it using is magic room as well so magic room works for five turns once it's set up it nullifies all of the effects for held items on the field so again a little bit like the magician ability that's going to disrupt our held items 
Magic Room, if that is something on Delphox, which you could see it's kind of like a magician Pokemon. It is gonna have those signature kind of moves and Magic Room being one of them. You could see things like Shell Bell be totally ineffective here. And that's why I say when we go into the builds, these things are kept in mind for how and what we expect to see the Delphox using. And with all of that information out of the way, this is what the expected set I see the Delphox to run going into this raid. We were very close with our Inteleon guess uh, with the Mist and obviously the Blizzard and the Hydro Pump and things like that. So hopefully we're close with the Delphox as well. I think it will have Overheat. It's its most powerful fire type attack. It does get the death detrimental side of it where it can reduce its special attack by two stages every time it uses it but it's going to have the option to remove those stat drops at any time it wants so you could see a similar situation playing out with this like we saw with the Charizard where it uses it turn zero and then nullifies all stat boost straight away to kind of get that clean slate going into turn one I think it's going to have a psychic type attack I would say it's between psychic and psy shock the curveball here would be that psy shock that plays off the defensive stat instead of the special defensive stat like psychic does it's a no-brainer it's gonna have dazzling gleam because of fairy terror typing it's its only fairy stab move so either that or terror blast could be options but i would say dazzling gleam makes more sense for this one and then it's between for me at least solar beam and hex now it depends if we see either sunny day or will-o-wisp as supporting options here if we see the sunny day it make more sense to have the solar beam because then it's benefiting both the solar beam and the overheat and the will-o-wisp could benefit the hex where it gets double damage and it is a ghost type move that gives you ghost type coverage i think the will-o-wisp doesn't give the defiant users a boost like charm does but charm definitely feels like something we might see going into this raid magic room is another option that i do see on it and i 100 percent think it's going to have nasty plot to become pretty threatening very quickly with those pl plus two setup options there and it kind of complements the overheat as well if it does go for overheat gets a drop it can just nasty plot and remove those drops the next turn so between the two there they've got really nice synergy so this is what i expect the Del Fox to look like when it goes live Live. we'll have to wait and see though but this is the information i've kind of gathered from what it can learn in game and taking that into the builds that we'll be showing you and now jumping into game we've got five builds we're going to feature today the first one we're going to start off with is slow king i feel like slow king is the better option out of that and slow bro because slow king has a slightly higher special defense and Del Fox is predominantly going to be a special attacking Pokemon. So you want that higher special defense where possible. Slow King fits the bill here. It is water and it is psychic. So it's going to resist the psychic type attacks that are going to come out from Del Fox. And it's going to resist the fire type attacks with the water typing. So it's a really nice Pokemon to bring into this raid. I think the only things that you're going to have to worry about if the Del Fox has coverage for are going to be things like the solar beam and then that any ghost type coverage like Hex or Shadow Ball. They could be a little bit problematic. Problematic. But, but otherwise slow king going to be a really nice option going into this raid now we've given it the leftovers so it's got a little bit of recovery when it needs to but it's not reliant on it if that magician ability procs and it gets stolen you don't mind that too much and it also if magic room gets used as well leftovers is something that we can kind of forget about but if we've got it then it is just a bonus for us so the move set that we've got for this slow king is going to be slack off amnesia nasty plot and stored power uh, the slack off is there for recovery when we need Need it we've pp maxed it out as well just make sure that you do that amnesia is there so we can boost our special defensive stat that is going to give us a boost of two stages every time we use it so we only need to use three to max our special defense stat out it'll make taking any even super effective attacks from the del fox really easy then we've got nasty plot we know the role with that that's going to boost our special attack by two stages every time we use it so that is going to be another three and then we're going to be set up ready to use our stored power now it's not going to hit the del fox for super effective damage but coming off stab and it's going to be hitting into the del fox for neutral it's going to still be doing a lot of damage the ev spread that we've got on this slow king is going to be 252 hp 252 special defense and the four remaining put in special attack with a modest nature so that is the slow king i feel like a really consistent build going into this one and one that will do good work we know how good slow bro is into the previous seven star raids and i think depending on a few move selections that the del fox could have i feel like slow king is going to be something that you're going to be able to build and have a good amount of confidence going into this raid with that you're going to be able to deal with it pretty easily the next build that we've got featured for this raid is going to be Serilege and Serilege obviously going to have that fire and ghost typing but the terror typing on this Serilege is going to be steel because we're going to be taking advantage of that steel type 
weakness that the fairy type Delphox will have. It's not going to be threatened either when we do terrestrialize by any of the fire type attacks because we've got that flash fire ability on it. So that is going to give us that complete immunity and also give us a resist to the psychic type attacks as well as the fairy type attacks when we do terrestrialize. So all in all, a really solid choice going into this raid. We've given the option of a shell bell item. So we've got that line of recovery, but not super reliant on it either because we've got so many resistances, especially after we terrestrialize lies with the Serilege. Now the moveset that we've gone for here is Sword Stance. We've got Clear Smog, Iron Head and Bitter Blade. Uh, the EV spread that we've got is 252 HP, 252 Attack with an Adamant Nature and like I've already mentioned the ability is Flash Fire here. Now the Bitter Blade gives us a line of recovery into the Delphox. It's not super effective but it does give us a way to get some recovery throughout the battle when we are playing with it. The Sword Stance is there to boost our attack by two stages every time we use it so we can use it three times to boost our attack that clear smog is a really nice option because it will remove any stat boosts on the Delphox side of the field so if it has got that nasty plot you're going to be able to use clear smog even through a shield and remove any of those stat boosts that Delphox has so it's not as threatening going into the next turns and then iron head is there for when you are terrestrialized you've got that steel terror typing active and you can just do super effective damage to this Delphox with a plus six attack and remove it from the field pretty easily and I think the Serral Edge really is one of the nicer picks going into this raid this week. Next Pokemon is going to be Armor Rouge, the brethren of Serilege, and going to have that psychic terror typing on this one. We're going to have the Shell Bell as the held item. The moveset is going to be Psychic Terrain, Acid Spray, Calm Mind, and Expanding Force with an EV spread of 252 Special Attack, 252 Special Defense, and the Flash Fire ability again, giving it complete immunity to any fire type attacks as well, coming out from the Delphi. Fox uh, with the psychic typing as well. It's going to have a resistance to the psychic type attacks coming out from the Delphox and with the special defensive investment and calm mind on top of that you're not going to worry too much about the fairy type attacks or any other coverage that it's got like ghost type attacks that could be potentially threatening. Uh, once you've got these acid sprays off you're going to be in a good position to terrestrialize pretty quickly after this point. You want to try and get a couple of calm minds up, get the psychic terrain active and then the expanding force in in the psychic terrain with those boosts and the special defense drops on the Delphox after the acid sprays you're going to be doing some huge damage to it honestly and uh, with the the shell bell item you have got a line of recovery there you will get a little bit more punished with the magician ability and the magic room if we do see it there because you don't have uh, really any line of recovery outside of the shell bell so that's one of the drawbacks with this set if we do see those options on the Delphox but again uh, you're going to have your heal cheers that you can take advantage of. But again, a really nice build. And I think the, the Armour Rouge is a nice option. And it's a, there's an option there for both Violet players and Scarlet players with both of these Pokemon being exclusive Pokemon to each version. And the next Pokemon that we're going to feature in today's video is going to be Arcanine. I feel like another really good option. It's an alternative option to the Serilege and the Armour Rouge because it does also get access to that Flash Fire ability. And I feel like it could do a decent job into the Delphox. We obviously have got that steel terror typing that's probably the most important thing for this particular build and we've got that shell bell item as well so we've got a line of recovery when we need it but it's not massively necessary because we do have a move set of morning sun that is an egg move so you're gonna have to teach that to arcanine find something with morning sun in your boxes put a mirror herb item on the arcanine and then set up a picnic with the morning sun pokemon and the arcanine in your party and the move will be transferred over to the Arcanine. It's pretty easy. You don't need to breed it down uh, necessarily, but you can do that as well, of course, if you'd like to. Uh, then we've got Howl. That is going to boost our attack stat every time we use it. We've got Snarl as well. That's going to reduce the special attack stat on the Delphox every time we use it. So if it does have Nasty Plot, then we've got a way to kind of negate that by reducing those boosts down by one stage every time uh, we use it. And then the big attacking option on the Arcanine is going to play off that Steel Terror typing that we've got and it's going to be iron head and like i say we've got the ability flash fire there so when we do terrestrialize we don't have that weakness to fire type attacks and we have the resistance to 
fairy and we also have the resist to the psychic type attacks as well the ev spread that we've got in the alcanine is pretty straightforward just 252 hp 252 attack and adamant nature and the rest put in special defense and that is everything that you need to know for the alcanine pretty much you're just going to rely on the morning sun for recovery when you need it if the sunny day is set up by the delphox that's a bonus for you because you've got the flash fire don't worry about the big uh, fire type attacks that are going to come off from that and it will mean that you get a full health recovery with the morning sun every time you use it you might want to pp max morning sun out so you've got a really good consistent line of recovery when you need to use it if you need to call on it but the steel terror typing is the big important thing to make sure that you've got on this arcanine going into it just so you've got more damage output when you do use the iron head after you trust lance and the final pokemon that we're mentioning in today's video how could i do a video about flash fire users and not include houndoom now it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea going into this raid but i do feel like houndoom has a place going in again to del fox it has got flash fire ability and it has got the dark typing so it is going to resist the the psychic type attacks and it's only going to take neutral damage from the fairy type attack so because of that fire typing that resists the fairy uh with the dark typing that's weak you kind of just take neutral damage of course you're not going to take too much damage with the houndoom but the shell bell as the item on there for a line of recovery like we normally do it's important to have the fire type terror typing because you want the resist to fairy type attacks once you do terrestrialize you are then going to be more susceptible to things like psychic type attacks but again you're going to resist the big fire type attacks anyway with that flash fire ability that we've got on here the moveset that we've got for the houndoom is going to be taunt nasty plot snarl and flamethrower with an ev spread of 252 special attack and 252 special defense with the rest put in hp uh, the basic premise is to try and shut down the del fox if it does try to set up anything early on you've got the taunt you can stop it setting up moves like magic room you can stop it setting up things like nasty plots or sunny days or anything along those lines so that's a really useful thing to support you and your partnering pokemon nasty plot is there to boost your special attack up you only need to use it three times to max that out and then you can fire off flamethrowers as well as utilizing the snarl which is there to reduce the special attacking stat on the del fox a really nice kind of all round supporting option i think houndoom gives you rather than just a flat out good attacking pokemon that's going to be able to solo this really quickly i think things like the serilege the armor rouge and the arcanine are probably your best options for that with the slow king probably being the most consistent consistent option out of everything that we've got here so they are all of the builds that we're going to feature in today's video of course as always the builds will be down in the description below if you'd like to take a closer look at those in your own time but that is everything and i think with these builds going into this terror raid you're going to have a pretty nice time going into it with any of these honestly i feel like they'll all do a really good job going in and soloing the del fox in game or even taking them online to do online with uh, the the resistances that they've got in the builds and specific things that you can do to set up against the Del Fox. It's going to make it pretty easy. But let me know down in the comment section below what you are thinking about bringing into this Del Fox raid. And of course, when the event goes live itself, we'll go live with the video after doing some testing and show you the best solo Pokemon to go into this raid with. So keep an eye on that. If you don't want to miss that video when it goes up, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date with that and all the rest of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. If you found today's video useful, please drop a like. It really does help the channel out and the video and just share it, get awareness about the these builds and finally i'll leave it there and i hope you all have a great rest of your day make sure more importantly than anything else you take care of yourself and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye